it's Victoria Breeze Force here today, back at it again with another video, and I'm not gonna lie, it's lovely to have you all joining me today. So, in today's video, I figure that we would go over some interesting future updates, perhaps, um, because Star Stable dropped some stuff today and yesterday, and I thought we could go over them. So, basically, the first thing that we're gonna start with started back at the Midsummer Festival of this year. And if you were to talk to Maya, she would say, it's nice of Thomas to let me use links to go on rides, but someday I hope to have a horse of my very own. What breed do you think I should get? Maybe a curly one. And so that left people, you know, getting suspicious about what horse breed Star Stable might add. Not only that, but Star Stable basically did a survey of what horse breed people would like to see. And I know a lot of people voted for, you know, a curly one. Well, today, I'm sure as basically all of you know, Star Stable posted this picture, which I'll put up on the screen. As you can tell, it's definitely a curly horse, which had people, you know, trying to guess what horse breed it was. Some people said the Tinker, but I mean, we've seen spoilers of the Tinker. I don't think it's that, personally. Plus, I don't think the Tinkers will be able to wear leg wraps, and this horse can wear leg wraps. Not only that, but then people also were suspecting it was like a pony, maybe a Dartmoor pony or an Exmoor pony. But personally, I think it's a Bashkir curly horse, and I think I pronounced that correctly. And I did some research, and apparently these horses are best for dressage and show jumping. But not only that, they're a, ver a very hardy breed that is able to stand severe winter conditions. So it makes me think, hmm, maybe they're going to be cold tolerant it when they're released into the game. And not only that, but for coat colors, um, they can be found in every color from standard bays blacks, grays, to Appaloosa markings, from pinto patterns to diluted colors such as buckskin, roan, gorilla, and cremello. But they're most commonly known for the chestnut color. So I will put up pictures of all those colors on the screen if I didn't already to like show you. Personally, I think I would really like the Appaloosa and like a black, maybe even like a roan color of this breed to be added to the game. And I'm pretty sure the one that they show they showed was either a chestnut or a bay. I'm gonna guess chestnut. So we know for a fact that color is most likely gonna be added. So that's pretty cool. And that was just like the first thing I wanted to go over. So that would be like, you know, my suspicions with this horse breed. All right, you guys, it's now time for part two of this video. And I'm gonna be completely honest. So basically, I think there's like this quest that you can like find the new updated cats, but um, I'm level 21 and I don't have the quest. And um, I would assume because I never did the quest with James and Token because unpopular opinion, but it doesn't really interest me. So instead, I'm just going to use some pictures from Instagram that I found, but I will give credit to everybody. So basically, where like the rage started was let me pull it up real quick but paula skyyard posted a picture on her story which i'll put up right here of the new cat spoilers so we already knew about the white one and then there's the black and white one and then the orange one that we already knew about well you see i was so excited and so pumped for these but when you see it you cannot really unsee it. And, um... <sighs> they're mirrored, guys. The cats are mirrored. So it might not really matter for, like, the white one, you know. But for the black and white one, it's pretty obvious. And it's just, it's a shame that they did that. It's cute, but, like, I don't think I'm gonna buy it for that simple fact because... As I'm sure you all know if you watched my Horses I Regret Buying video, I don't like when they mirror anything, basically, because I feel like they did half the work. And again, with these cats, 
they they definitely mirrored them on the orange one and the black and white one. So I don't know if I'm going to buy them. I mean, <sighs> just like why'd they have to do it, you know? So my assumption is I know like the Miss Foxes were like, I think 500 star coins and then the dogs were pretty expensive too. And then the seagulls were like 350 star coins. If these cats are anywhere near that price, I will most definitely not be buying them because they're not worth that, especially with them being mirrored. Like, on the black and white one, most definitely, because it's very prominent. And they already got an, a lot of outrage when they did it with the Jorvik Warmbloods, and then they just changed a little bit on the face and said it was a design choice. But why are you going to be doing it with saddle pets now? Especially when they want so much money for saddle pets. I just, I don't think it's really worth it in my opinion. It's up to you if you want to buy them. They're still cute and all, but I don't think they're really for me. I also forgot to mention that last week, Star Sable posted, like, coming up next week, and it just said meow. So obviously, basically everybody's assuming that the new cat running pets will be out next week. But like I said, I don't think I'm as excited as I was. But in case you guys wanted to know, they should be here next week. And I already kind of thought they would be with like one of my last videos that I did like this. Because the last two years for Star Stable's birthday, they have released walking pets. So I feel like they're kind of following that trend. And for the next part of the video, I'm sorry if you can hear my neighbor outside mowing his lawn. But Star Stable had James take over their Instagram for the day. And I will be giving full credit to Sienna Starlord for coming up with this, like, again, the word has left my brain, theory, theory. So basically they went through and James did like a bunch of selfies. If you've seen Star Stable's Instagram before, I'll post, like, some screenshots on the screen. And basically one of them was of James showing this guy painting something. And some of the quotes were, but please paint something less creepy. Haha, ha. this one looks like something straight out of my nightmares. So she theorized, I'll read it. Am I just overthinking this, or is this an update for the Dark Riders coming? The girl just in this painting looks incredibly incredibly similar to Katja, sorry if I'm mispronouncing that, one of the Dark Riders, and James mentions it looks like something straight out of his nightmares. If you remember, there's a whole quest line about James having nightmares of Katja, Katja, again, I'm sorry, after being kidnapped by her. What do you guys think? So, um, I think it's pretty possible, because I'll put up the picture of what she looks like right now. And, I mean, Star Stable does like to hint at stuff, like, you know, with the running cats and everything, and now dropping spoilers of the Bashkir curly horse. I think it could be very likely, but I don't know how true it is. I guess we'll have to see in future updates. And then, I think the last thing I'm going to mention in today's video is Yelva Potato Heart posted a video on her Instagram, which I'll screen record it and put it up. But it's basically of them messing around with like this drone thing. And it's like sucking up the horse and the rider. And it says, when your colleague builds a tool and the engine, but programs a drone to attack anyone in the office who tries to use it without permission. And she said it's not in the... It's not out in the actual game. This is to use a tool that one of our dev friends built. And basically he was trying to prank them. But it makes you wonder if maybe Star Stable will be, you know, adding something like that in the future. I mean, if they're messing around with it, who knows? I thought I would just throw that in here. Also, you guys, I forgot to mention that I will be doing a much requested Q&A in the future, but it will have a twist. So I will leave the community tab that I posted in the description below if you would like to leave any questions. So all in all, guys, what are your opinions? Are you pumped for the Bashkir Curly Wars? Do you think that's what it's going to be? How do you feel about the cats, especially now that you know that they're mirrored? 
And um, do you think the Dark Riders will be updated in the future? Let me know all your thoughts and opinions down below. And also, one of my subscribers suggested the name Update Reveals, which is going to be the name of the series. And I have a lot of different things I'd like to cover in the future. So if you liked this video, definitely let me know because I really would like to create future videos like it. But with that being said, I hope you did enjoy today's video. You know, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell, like this video. And yeah, I hope to catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.